Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about attitude scales. According to iSync, attitude is a perceptual orientation and response readiness in reaction to a particular object or class of object. Attitude has three components. They are thoughts, feelings and action or reaction. Attitude scales are psychological instruments designed to measure personal attitudes on a variety of topics and issues. Typically, attitude scales contain a set of statements which represent different shades of opinion on a single issue. Some of the common uses of attitude scales are it can be used to rate a student, it helps to measure people's opinions on social issue, employee rating scale are designed to measure job related performance and it can also be helped to judge quality. There are different types of attitude scales. The three commonly used attitude scales are semantic differential scale, staples scale and Likert scale. Semantic differential scale was invented by Charles Egerton Osgood to record emotional attitudes towards different topics and be able to easily use and analyze the findings. Semantic differential scales are primarily used in questionnaires and surveys to obtain people's emotional reaction or attitude towards a particular topic and to allow customers to rate products, services, brands or organizations. This rating scale begins and ends with rating options that are semantically opposite. Usually, polar adjectives such as like, dislike, satisfied, dissatisfied, would recommend, wouldn't recommend. Different types of semantic differential scales are evaluation, potency and activeness. The first one determines whether someone has a positive or negative opinion about a certain topic. The next one determines how strong or weak a person's attitude towards something is or how powerful the topic is for them. The last measures whether the topic is regarded as active or passive. The combination of these three scales can be used. The staple scale was developed by Jan Staple. The scale is usually constructed vertically with a single adjective in the middle of the range of values minus phi to plus phi. As it uses a single adjective, it is a unipolar scale. The respondents are asked to select the appropriate numerical response category that best describes the extent to which the adjective related to the object is accurate or inaccurate. The higher the positive score selected by the respondent, the more accurate the adjective describes the object and vice versa. The Likert scale was developed by Rensis Likert in 1932. It is a close-ended, forced-choice scale used in a questionnaire that provides a series of answers that go from one extreme to another. It is usually a five-point scale ranging from strongly disagree to neutral to strongly agree. A six-point Likert scale has three levels of disagreement and three levels of agreement. The seven-point Likert scale adds a neutral point. I hope you like this video. Do share and subscribe. Thank you.